What's up, you data friends? It's Yanis here, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python in order to call OpenAI's API and call an LLM model. In this example, we are going to use ChatGPT 3.5 or 4, we can switch to that, in order to build this Streamlit app, which is basically a chatbot. In this chatbot, we can drag and drop any PDF file we want over here. And this is going to read all the text first and display it, as you can see. And then we can click on summarize text and it's going to give us a summarize of this text. Or we can ask questions and the LLM model is going to answer these questions. And before we jump into this video, let me just say that if you're new to my channel and you're passionate about data science, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. Right, the first thing we have to do, if we go back here, is to go over the libraries we need. The first one that we need is the PDF plumber, which we need so we can read the PDF and translate it into text. Then we need the OpenAI. We also need Streamlit so we can create our app. And I also got an error about upgrading my Plotly. So I don't know if you're going to get this error, but I also needed to upgrade my Plotly. If you don't have any of these libraries, then run this pip install and then the library, and then you're going to be fine. Moving on, the next thing we need is our API key. So for this step, you need to make sure that you have an OpenAI API key. If you don't have one, then you can follow this link over here, which is going to take you into this website, the OpenAI platform, where you can create a new secret key. And this is going to give you your API key. If you don't have an account with OpenAI, then you can go over in ChatGPT. You can ask how to get an OpenAI API, and it's going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your account and then how to generate your API key. So going back, we need to set our OpenAI key. So I have actually deleted it, so you can't see the copy and paste it, but here you are going to paste your key. Then we need to call our client and pass our OpenAI key, and we should be fine now to call our models. Right, moving on, we need to extract our text from our PDF. So I have used a random PDF from the web. I just downloaded this from the internet, but you can use any PDF that you want. Just make sure don't choose a massive PDF. This one has 19 pages. Don't choose one that has 200 pages because you're gonna have an issue with tokens. Right, going back into our code. Over here, we create a new function called extract text from PDF, and then we pass the path of the PDF. And what this is gonna do is that it's going to use the PDF plumber, which is the library we just installed, to open the PDF, and then it's gonna go page by page and extract the text. And then this is going to go to the next page, and if there is text, it's actually going to add it to the existing text and it's going to return the whole text. So if we try and call this function, which is what I'm doing over here, but first let me run it. And then if I call it on that PDF file I have just shown you, you can see that it returns all these text in raw format. Right, moving on, we need to create a function that summarizes this text we've just loaded over here. So I create a new function, I call it summarize text, and this is to summarize the text using OpenAI's API. I have actually copied and pasted this function from the, if you follow the documentation I have over here, and you read the OpenAI Python documentation, there is tons of examples on how to call the model. So I went through these examples, I adjusted a bit the code so I could create this function. So I'm using ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. We can actually change this model to ChatGPT 4. However, it's going to cost a lot more. That's why I stay with ChatGPT 3.5. In the raw system, we are just telling to this LLM that it's a helpful assistant that summarizes text. And then in the raw user is where we get to specifically ask it to do a task. So I'm saying to it, summarize the following text because this function over here is going to be this function over here, the summarize test function, which is always going to write a summary about the PDF we provide. Right, going back quickly, 
Uh, over here, I'm just saying the max turgens, which is the response, is going to be 300. And then the temperature, I don't exactly remember what the temperature is, but we can actually Google it or actually search for it over here. Does it explain it? No, we can go back to ChatGPT and ask it what is temperature in LLMs. Uh, I, think it, I think it has to do something about the creativity. Uh, it's a parameter that, yeah, it controls randomness of the model output. So it takes values from zero to one. And if we read the summary, it says that a lower temperature is focus consistent and conservative, and a higher temperature is creative, diverse, and exploratory. So we can actually experiment with the temperature. Right, going back, what we have here is that we are asking it to summarize the following text and we are passing the text from over here, this previous function, and we return the summary. So I've actually again copy and pasted this code. It just returns the answer as a summary. And if I run this function quickly on our text, it says that this function is actually not created. So let me run it and then rerun this. And this is going to give us a summary of the text above here. Right, moving on, we have to create another function now, which is basically going to allow us to ask questions on the text or on the PDF. And this function is actually going to be this function over here, where we can ask what are the main points of the PDF, for example, click get answer, and this is going to generate it shouldn't take that long, all the main points, there we go. So these are the main points of our PDF. So going back, what we can do is that we can copy this, paste it over here and adjust it. The difference is that we're gonna take two variables now. We're gonna take the text and we're also gonna take the question. And what we are going to change is over here in the role user, we are going to say, based on the following text and we pass the text, which is this text over here, and answer this question. And the question is going to be over here. So we're gonna pass it as a variable. Everything else is the same. We run our function and then we run this question down below, which says, what is the most mentioned word in this document? And if we run it, it says that based on the text provided, the most mentioned word in this document is crypto, which is related to cryptocurrency. And it also gives us some context about this word. Right, moving on, we are going to create the main function, which is basically putting them all together and testing if the whole code works. So I have copied and pasted the first three functions we've created. So this is the extracting the text. This is the summarizing the text. And this is the asking the questions on the text. And down here, I'm creating our main function, which is basically providing the path to the PDF. Then it's running the text extraction. Then it's checking if we have data in the text. So this is an error check. Then we summarize the text. So this is our second function. And then we are asking a question on our text. And the question is, what are the key points mentioned in this document? So if I run this whole function and check if it works, see it's running. There we go. So first we have the summary. And down here, we have our answer to our question and we're getting all the key points as we can see over here. And as we can see, it does a pretty good job. The next step now is to create our Streamlit app, which is the app we see over here. To do this, we need to put everything in one cell because we are going to convert this into a .py file and we need everything in one place. I'm going to show you how to do that in a bit. First, we start with our libraries. So it's a pure copy paste. Here we also see Streamlit, which is basically the library we're gonna to use to build the app. Then we pass our API key, which is the same as before. And then we copy paste the three main functions we created, which is the extract text, the summarize text, and the question asking on the text. Then here down on the main is where we change it a bit. So we start by setting our streamlit.title and this title is basically this title over here. 
then we are creating a file uploader and this file uploader is basically this file uploader over here which we are basically going to select the pdf that we are going to analyze or ask questions on then if we have a file uploaded we are going to run our extract text function so this is going to extract all the text which is basically what you see over here but we actually have to specify the title and then pass the text. So this is what I'm doing over here. So if there is a text, create this title, text extracted from PDF, which is basically this title over here. And also st.text area is where we pass the text. Then we want to add the summarize of the text button. So this is the button over here. And if somebody clicks the button, we want to run our function, which is the summarize text function. If I go back to show you how this works, this is the button. And if I click on summarize text, it's going to run our first function, which is the summarize text function. And it's going to return the summary over here, as you can see. So if I go back, it says st.subheader summary, which is the summary over here. And then we actually print st.write the summary. We repeat the same thing with the question, but the only difference now is that it's not a button, it's actually a text input because we actually have to type in the question. So if we go back, this is the text input over here and I'm asking it, what are the main points of this PDF? Let's ask something else. Let's ask, write an email with the top three points maybe and then click uh, get answer. I don't know why enter doesn't work. And this is going to write us an email. Let's see, it's running as you can see. There we go. So dear team, I hope this email finds you well. And then we have one, two, three main points and then a best regards and then you add your name. So it does exactly what we've asked it to do. So if I go back, this is the question asking else is going to throw us an error and if i run this all this cell is going to tell me to view the streamlit app on the browser i have to run the following command streamlit run and then this dot pi file however i cannot make this work so i usually go via the visual studio code right to do this now we need to follow these steps we need to create a new dot pi file not a notebook so we click on file new and then a Python file, and we are going to copy and paste the code we have into this .py file. So I'm going to copy this, and then paste it over here, and I'm going to rename this into YouTube app one, and then rename it, and then file save, well, save Python file over here. Uh, next, I'm going to copy and paste this file into the location I need it to be. So in my case, it created the app over here. So I'm going to actually cut this and I'm going to paste it into my folder over here. And now we need to open this using Visual Studio Code. So I go over Visual Studio Code and then I click on this .py file we have just created, the YouTube app.py. Now I can just run our Streamlit app and in order to do this, we need to click over here. We need a new command prompt and we need to type in Streamlit run and then the name of this .py file. So I'm quickly going to copy and paste the name. So copy, paste over here and then make sure you add the .py at the end. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you can see it opened a new window with our Streamlit app and it gave us an error. We are actually missing the OS, which is the operating system. So if I go back quickly, I can add the operating system. I'm going to copy and paste it from an app that works. So this one works. I need the operating system over here and then click File, Save. And then go back and click Rerun. OpenAI is not defined, so we're missing another library, as you can see. Go back, get the OpenAI from here. I think this is the one. There we go. File, save. It's good to learn how to troubleshoot these issues. 
uh, and then we go back, we click rerun. Did I not save it? OpenAI is not defined. Uh, let me check again. So I have, oh, this is not the OpenAI I'm missing. I'm missing uh, this OpenAI. Sorry, there we go. File, save, go back, rerun. There we go. Actually, I'm, I'm also missing the picture. If, I, if we check this up, we have a big, nice picture over here. And to add the picture, we need to go back. I'm gonna copy and paste everything I did for the picture. So if I go over here, we need the PIL from image. So this is a library. If you don't have it, you're gonna to need to pip install this library. Then uh, if I go back over here, I think I added the picture. There we go, right after the title. But to add the picture, we need this code, image equals uh, image.open, and it's gonna open the picture. This picture is actually stored in the same folder. So I think this is the picture. Uh, and then we need to display the picture by saying st.image, and then we pass this image, and we use the column width uh, equals always. So I'm just gonna copy this quickly, and then go back into the app we have just created and then paste this over here, right below the title. There we go. I'm going to do file, uh, save, and then I'm gonna go back into our app. I'm gonna click rerun. There we go, we have the image. Now I'm going to select the file. So if I go uh, over here, uh, I have four files. I think this is the file uh, we've used. Click open. There we go. Now you can see it extracted all the text from this file. This is the text. If I click on summarize text, this is going to call our first function. There we go, we have an error. Um, the error actually is a connection error and it's because we haven't passed our API key over here. So I'm gonna quickly move this over back here. I'm gonna add my API key so you cannot see. Click save and then rerun. Key, copy this, go back, uh, paste, file, uh, save, and then if I click rerun, there we go, I click on summarize text, and this should work now. There we go, we get a summary of our text. Now if I ask a question, I am going to say uh, write an email with the top four predictions, because I think this file has predictions. What did I do? Email, get answer. There we go, we get an email with the top four crypto predictions for 2024. And now we can copy and paste this and send an email. Right, so this is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you now know or you have an idea about how to use Python in order to call OpenAI's API and run your own LLMs and create your own apps very quickly. I'm going to upload all this code in my GitHub repository so you can go there, download it, copy it and experiment yourself. I hope you've gained enough value out of this video and if you feel like you did, I would really appreciate it if you click that like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos.